This is Jesus Manuel Menagarza. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Thanks for checking out my channel, Eclectic RV and Travel Adventures. Thank you, thank you very much. Today I'm going to be examining the 2020 Lance 2285. I saw this unit at the Tarrant County uh, RV Show. I really, really, really like this unit. It is absolutely gorgeous and fits me to a T. Too bad it's a bit out of my budget. The overall length of this unit is 27 uh, uh, feet. Uh, the dry weight, approximately 5,000 pounds. And it has uh, two 45-gallon gray tanks. In the back, they have the kitchen. In the middle, they have the sofa and the dinette. Or you can change things around. Uh, sofa. Uh, you can have a lounge chair. There's all kinds of uh, options for this wonderful, absolutely gorgeous travel trailer. There's the ladder, a uh, nice thick ladder, and there's the uh, uh, heater in the back of the air conditioner. And there's the water heater right over there and uh, the bumper. And right there is a spot where you can uh, put a bike rack, and that's about it. You can't, tell, I think it's only good for like 150 pounds. So be very careful if you put something on that hitch. So here's a side view of the unit. Uh, I saw it. Usually I can see these units at Western Campers here in Fort Worth, but they had it at the RV show, and I took an opportunity to take a quick peek, and they have Goodyear tires, American tires. Who would have thunk? American tires. They still make them in the United States. Wow! That's a little puck where you can put your TV, and they have uh, several locations, one in the bedroom, one in the uh, you know, lounge, living room area, and outside. Here's the pass-through storage, and of course they include a tray. One of the great Lance features that's uh, offered to the public. And you can slide it in and slide it out, and uh, you don't have to reach in there and get caught inside. There's some of the controls, and right above it they have uh, one of two locations for the slide-out the Easy Glide battery system. You can have a battery there. In some of the other units, they uh, offer uh, lithium-ion batteries, a 1,500-watt uh, inverter, etc., etc. Even uh, solar on the roof, almost 400 watts of solar if you want it. I don't know if they offer it on this one. Uh, this one has an automotive-style window as compared to some of the other units now that have the European style that actually opens up. I would recommend putting on that window some sort of glaze, uh, like a window tint, but a thicker material that you can protect your windows so they won't crack. That's where you have a 220 pounders and a smart jack and uh, the front area of the uh, below uh, that logo there <laughs> they have uh, the plastic there that sort of uh, uh, protects the lower underbelly make sure you don't ha have any damage. It's a lot better apparently according to the folks at Lance than a uh, diamond plate. Here's a shot of the uh, Usual jealousy style awning style windows, and of course, they have the Schwintec slide mechanisms, and they have some storage right there. I couldn't squeeze myself in there. I'm uh, 5'10, 170. I squeeze, <laughs> I guess I could squeeze myself through there. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was pretty tough at this RV uh, show. So, there's an outdoor shower, some of the connections for water, and uh, the 30 amp connection in the back area with the bumper. And uh, so let's go see if we can get inside. Let's go inside. Let's pass by all this stuff here. There's the uh, water heater and uh, the ladder. And that's a good size and strong ladder, not no cheapo ladder. And now we're going to go inside. Finally, we're going inside. As you walk in, immediately you see the refrigerator. Of course, it has a nice little stainless steel skin to it. it has the refrigerator below and the freezer on top. And it's a... Uh, Alternating current plus uh, propane, your standard stuff. No AC, DC refrigerator here, but it's very nice. It's, it looks like about a seven cubic foot. I like that backsplash. It has a nice metallic sheen to it. And you get three burners here. Uh, you know, you get your propane uh, cooktop, and of course, it's a Dometic. And right below it is a, they have an oven, a nice little oven. It's a good size oven, I think. close that. So what do you think of this unit so far? I've shown the outside. Now let's look at the inside. I really, really am a big fan of the interior design of this unit. I really love it. 
some of the controls, there's a micro and again, microwave again, has that stainless steel look. And these cabinets are solid wood and uh, high quality. They have the uh, American stone cast. Not many people have the American stone cast anymore. There's a lot of people giving up on that. And they have a little garbage area. I like the fact that it's right there on top. You don't have to go through a channel and all your gunk hits the channel before it gets to the garbage can. In classic, uh, you know, fashion, Lance has these little plastic drawers that you can take outside and wash. I think they're uh, pretty good. You're going camping. You're not uh, you know, going to the Ritz-Carlton. You're going camping, boys and girls, men and women. And I really like this Roadster interior. <laughs> it's, again, uh, I'm gushing a bit. But I really like this unit. It's absolutely gorgeous. But what do you think? Do you like this unit? Do you like this interior? They come in different interior colors, and I had a problem with that. I have to press the button and let go, Garza. I, I finally figured it out. <laughs> I just kept my finger on the button like a dummy. Nice big boxes, and they're all, you know, uh, dovetail joinery. Well, can't complain about that, huh? All metal glides, nice little roller glides, solid wood door fronts, and they have a little plastic coating on top, a little sort of vinyl coating on it just to uh, give it a nice little appeal. And there's that little table, goes down of course if you want to have a guest sleep in that area. That's a good size area. Nice little window uh, treatments and also, uh, also the uh, lamps are very nice too. Updated in the last uh, year or so, they've gotten rid of those horrible pleated shades which I absolutely thought were garbage and they uh, now have the better blinds. A plus Lance for actually listening to your customers. A very nice uh, move on their part. There's some uh, connections for a TV and uh, electronics and they have the usual uh, head for uh, video doing DVD music etc etc. And on this side you have the option of a sofa or two uh, little easy chairs. I'll show you later on during the video an option with the two easy chairs. You may like the sofa better. Uh, you can just relax there, spread your legs out, read a book, uh, just, just enjoy yourself at the campsite. And of course, the uh, legs come right out. And, you know, this is a recliner. Let me close that. I had to use that, and then I had to press harder. I had to use what little strength I have at my old age. <laughs> Saw a lot of old folks at the uh, RV show. They were hanging out, uh, some of them ambling around barely and uh, checking out what they can find in the RV marketplace. And there's quite a few RVs at this uh, show, you know, motorized and towables. There's some of your controls. Some of the other units have the high tech uh, controls. This one does not have the high tech, uh, you know, little panel that controls everything. This one does not. Maybe it might be an option. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Beautiful cabinetry. You get yourself a, a nice clock. And again, those are the blinds I want to talk about. You have the dimming ones, and then you have the ones that just block out all the light for privacy. A big, big improvement over the last uh, set of uh, blinds I dealt with on a 2285. It was... They're essentially almost falling apart. <laughs> That's not good. Uh, they probably had a lot of complaints. Here's the bedroom. You have two areas, one on the left and one on the right, where you can put electronics and put your cups and stuff like that. But right in the middle, they have a little wash basin. So uh, Lance is one of the few uh, companies hanging on with the uh, American Stonecast. Everybody else is pretty much going to a stainless steel. There's the controls for some of the uh, fans. You have some electronic uh, connections right there. Let's go to the restroom. And it's a good size restroom, especially for a good size couple. If you're a good size person, this might work for you. There's some storage right there. There's your basic fan, which you can replace with a Fantastic or a Max Air fan. Why not? And there's some of the controls for the shower, and uh, I always recommend to folks, go inside the shower, see if it fits you. If it's, uh, it starts caving in, you know you don't fit. You gotta get a bigger unit, something a little more robust. Some of us are bigger than others. 
I'm uh, rather puny myself. So there's some storage areas right there and some controls for the lights right there. I played with the lights. And that's a little corner unit where you can uh, store some TP, toothbrushes, etc., etc. And some more storage here. It goes way back, way back. Way, 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 way back. This has that uh, sort of plasticky curtain. It works. Uh, it's not the top of the line, but it works. And I'm going to close the door now and go into the bedroom. Why not? Well, let me open this up first, see what's in here. This is a gigantic storage area. I, it must be like three by three feet and goes up all the way, so like seven feet. And this is a big storage area. You can put quite a few items in. It's right in the middle, so it's you know right over pretty much the wheel well. So that's a great spot to have a lot of storage. You have a mirror there. Finally, we're going back into the bedroom and uh, you have a magazine rack there. You can put some odds and ends there and you have the cl classic uh, you know, windows there. You have some storage up there. I thought I'd take a peek back there and see what's going on. It has this uh, accent lighting. And that's a Max here, a fantastic fan. I do not know, but whatever it is, I like it. And there's the uh, connections for your TV, etc., etc. And what do you think of these uh, window valances? These uh, nice leatherette uh, sort of treatment. I like it. So it's a mask in colors. And I'm playing again with the window blinds. I really appreciate it. Again, a big improvement over, over what they had just a couple years back. They were absolutely horrific, those accordion blinds. You have connections for electronics on both sides. And you have a shirt closet on both sides. And it uh, goes up pretty tall. And it's all nice cabinetry. Uh, there's a, some controlled USB and 12 volt. The benefit of 12 volt is that you can uh, get you know higher voltage. Some of these USB connections are only like one amp, maybe two amps. But you know with that cigarette lighter connection, you can get a lot more. Again, your friendly comments are always appreciated on my channel. Thank you very much. So I like this bed. Let's open it up. I took all my strength to lift it up. This one has a really good mattress. This ain't no cheap mattress this is a good mattress you don't have to replace this one maybe you might want to but you won't have to it's nice aluminum framing it has some locks here to keep it down yeah, it's very nice they even offer you uh, as an accessory item uh, certain blankets and certain uh, comforters and stuff like that you may want to consider that or you just might want to go to your local store down on the street so let's head back up towards the kitchen and show you uh, the sofa again there's the sofa and on the right side is the diamond. And let's go see uh, what looks a little different after this fade. Oh, huh, this is a different sort of a, a treatment. It has this uh, unusual sort of design. It has a suede fabric. Do you like it? Uh, some people might like it. And uh, it's up to you. It's everybody's different. They have these two chairs instead of the sofa. So you can get that option. You can have the sofa or those two chairs. It's your choice. Some people like easy chairs, and uh, I've never had an easy chair, uh, so I, if I got one, I'd probably be very spoiled. And here's the bedroom, and uh, what do you think of the bedroom? Do you like it? This has been a review of the 2020 Lance 2285 travel trailer. A luxury travel trailer indeed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and check out my website, jmmgarza.com. From Fort Worth, Texas, this has been Jesus Manuel Menagarza. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.